Selamat, Memertret's photos, Jakarta never ages. Every day, new scenes beckon him. 67-year-old Memertret is an experienced photographer based in Indonesia. Because he was born in China, he sees the city he's called home for over 30 years from two cultural perspectives. His photos present both the past and the future of the city. Though the people in the photos have aged, the city remains vigorous. The capital Jakarta, known as the Coconut City, is located on the northwest coast of Java Island. The largest city in Southeast Asia is an international metropolis and world-famous seaport. The Dutch established a colony here in the 16th century, and Indonesia didn't gain independence until 1949. The National Monument was erected at the center of the city to commemorate this event. The Istiklal Mosque, meaning Independence Mosque in Arabic, is located in the northeastern part of the monument and is the largest mosque in Indonesia. Memertret is working on a photo report for a magazine entitled City of Belief. Indonesia has the largest Muslim population in the world. The people and their beliefs are closely related. He takes pictures of a grand religious service underway. This mosque can attract over 200,000 followers during Ramadan. Across the street from the Istiklal Mosque is the largest Catholic cathedral in Indonesia, reflecting the good relations between Christians and Muslims here. The Indonesia seen through Memertret's camera lens is a multi-faith, multicultural country. Although Islam is the dominant religion, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Christianity have many followers and more primitive religions are also popular on some islands. The idea of religious tolerance is an integral characteristic of the Indonesian people. Mamertret has been busy all day taking photos. At dusk, he rushes to his studio to process his photos. itu tidak hanya terbatas di kelompok-kelompok masyarakat tetapi sudah masuk ke dunia perdagangan. Mall-mall itu kan semuanya dihias dengan suasana Natal, suasana Tahun Baru, suasana Lebaran, suasana Imlek. Ini yang menunjukkan bahwa ini yang menunjukkan bahwa setiap warga Indonesia itu welcome dari manapun asal keturunannya. Tidak ada masalah.
The Suave Band is performing in the Exo Bar, their first stop of the night. Lafa and lead singer Aldi are college friends who formed the band three years ago. They came to Jakarta right after they graduated. This is how they earn their living for now, but they are also looking for other opportunities. Jakarta is the most open, prosperous, and cosmopolitan city in Indonesia. Early in the morning, Lafa and Aldi are tired and return home by motorcycle. Jakarta is one of the most densely populated cities in the world, and the locals are used to traffic jams. Lafa and Aldi want to get home before the morning rush hour. Barbecue is an Indonesian tradition. There are barbecue stands everywhere in the city. Like most Indonesian people, Lafa and Aldi love sweet food. Today they're having chicken barbecued with sweet soy sauce and spicy rice for breakfast. But they don't seem so interested in the food. They obviously have something important on their minds. A long-awaited opportunity has finally presented itself. Not long ago, they wrote a song based on their lives. It tells the story of two young men clinging to their dreams, wandering around in a strange land. The song was chosen by a record company and makes it to number three in the Indonesian music charts. The record company decides to sign them and make an album. The press conference to promote their debut album of original songs will be held this afternoon. Malam yang mulai terpisahkan Dari mimpi berjuta mimpi Kau masih saja akan menanti temukan yang tersembunyi Dan apakah kau takkan berhenti diam di sini Hanya kata yang tak bisa atau tak mampu mungkin tak ada Yang akan mengajak putut mulai melangkah merangkai mimpimu Aku hanya coba menyadarkanmu Jangan pernah biarkan apa yang halangi dan menghentikan The press conference begins at 4 p.m. Reporters focus their cameras on Lafa and Aldi, who are in the media spotlight for the first time. Jakarta has accepted and shaped them. This city has provided a new starting point in their lives and careers. Bandung is familiar to many Chinese people because of the 1955 Asian-African Conference. The Chinese delegation was led by the late Premier Zhou Enlai. The final communique from the conference, which was unanimously passed, included the five principles of peaceful coexistence. This put Bandung on the world map for the first time. Chinese people also know Indonesia because of the popularity of badminton here. It's Indonesia's national sport, 
and its competitors have won many competitions. 13-year-old Rizali Wong San Atta Wuler began learning badminton at the SGS club at the age of eight. Alasannya apa ya? Ya suka aja dari dulu. Da, e, jadi kalau bola kan e, ada cedera yang patah kaki, patah kaki yang yang kayak gitu. Kalau bu tangkis kan nggak ada, jadi lebih memilih olahraga yang aman aja. Wooler comes to the club every day after school. A number of Indonesian badminton stars have trained here, including Olympic champion Taufik Haidayat. Any Indonesian child crazy about badminton would be proud to train here. Jadi bangun jam setengah lima langsung sholat subuh. Udah itu musab sebelum paling tiga. It's the weekend, so after morning practice, Wooler goes home to play video games with his cousin. He spends most of his time and energy playing badminton. His mother has arranged for a tutor on weekends to help him keep up in school. He's an only child, and his parents have high hopes for him. They hope he'll become an Olympic champion, like Taufik Haidayat. So most of the family's income is spent on Wooler's education. A photo taken of Taufik Haidayat last year sits in a conspicuous place for encouragement. Wuler will represent the club in an important competition in a few days. The managers of many famous companies will be there to sign contracts with a few lucky young players. This is a golden opportunity that could lead to becoming a member of the national team. Wuler's coach, i.e. Sumarat, is intensifying his training. Wooler's trainer, i.e. Sumarat, is proud of the fact that he trained a great athlete like Taufik Haidayat. Karena satu-satunya olahraga kita pernah juara All England seperti ada Tan Yuhok, ada Rudy Hartono, ada saya Lim Striking. 
dan lain-lain pemain yang muda-muda seperti Alan, Fisi Susanti, sampai ke Taufik Hidayat. Uh, jadi, bulu uh, tangkis itu adalah uh, kebanggaan buat negara Indonesia. I.E. Sumerat thinks Wu Ler is very talented and hopes that he can become the next Taufik Hidayat. On days when Wu Ler doesn't go to the club, he trains at home with his mother, who is almost stricter than his coach. Ya, pengen uh, kayak Ataufik, pengen jadi pemain dunia, membanggakan orang tua dan negara. The day of the competition is near. Wu Ler and his parents go to the club early in the morning. In the end, he wins his game, but he knows that the competition will only get fiercer. A heavy morning downpour cleans the streets and cools the air in Jakarta. The cool breeze after the rain provides welcome relief from the heat. Amateur model Catherine Ernawati is putting on makeup in a Jakarta photo studio. She's going to model for an online clothing store. My name is uh, Catherine Ernawati, uh, but you can call me Kathy. I'm a freelance model. Uh, I live in Jakarta uh, uh, in the morning because I'm already a housewife, so I'm taking care of my kids. Uh, I'm also take, uh, take my kids to the school. Kalau untuk gym, saya bisa gym di klub manapun di Celebrity Fitness karena saya adalah member VIP gitu ya. Selain itu juga. Jakarta is a city of dreams. There are many women like Catherine Ernawati pursuing their ambitions here. The status of women has improved somewhat in cities with large Muslim populations, and many now hold. After her intense morning shoot, Catherine Ernawati hurries to another one. She only has time for a quick lunch in the car. She believes it's all worthwhile because she's living her dream.
sehari-hari ini ya semuanya juga kan nantinya kan emang untuk e, kesejahteraan keluarga juga gitu kan ya jadi kita emang untuk harus In Jakarta, people are confident about the future and working to realize their cherished dreams. They are confident those dreams are within sight. There is gold in Indonesia. 400 years ago, this stirring slogan drew countless explorers and traders pursuing a dream. Today, Indonesia is still a magnet for idealists. This nation of islands, volcanoes, and modern cities is a modern country that also preserves tradition while opening its arms to the world. Indonesia is a very rich country in terms of culture and uh, many Indonesians actually originated from China and certainly being a very rich country in terms of uh, natural resources as well as tourism we warmly welcome people from China to travel and visit Indonesia Indonesia a unique island nation is mysterious and colorful, like a ring of emeralds lying on the equator. The glamour of Indonesia attracts people from all across the world.